Hey everyone, this is Dylan and welcome to the devlog for Pixel Planet as of the 10th of the 5th, 2019. And I got quite a few little things to show you today. So main sort of thing we're working on this past week has been uh, menus. And they're not fully implemented yet, but I'll show you what we have got uh, based on the designs we had uh, going last week. So we've got a new main menu in, which I think is a really nice looking uh, artwork on it to be honest. There you go to play, so we can still missing backgrounds and elements like that from here. So we go player select, we've got profile select screen now. So I'll just put a profile in like so. Uh, hit next. And then this is placeholder right now. This is the most select screen. So, see so right now all these modes are placeholder, but basically game modes will go in here. It also background elements are missing still, but modes will go in here. Uh, high scores, uh, that will display um, just some default ones to start with, and then will display actual player high scores as uh, people play the game. And then for now, I'll just click on any one of these because it just takes us through to the character select screen, which yeah, right now isn't actually implemented in any way. But uh, it's sitting here as a sort of placeholder. And we go back to character selection and we can make another profile. Da, 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 da. Through here. And right now it's not that obvious because it's only got the grey highlight. But um, we're going to add in a uh, like sort of selection board to make it more obvious where the character, like where the player has selected things. So right now you can see just by it graying a bit more which character I've got selected. So we select and then delete that and then click on volumes and we go next. And then where there is the right character. Um, so the menus aren't fully finished yet but that'll be uh, continuing work on that next week. Um, now also we did get some more, uh, we've got some assets and stuff created which um, you'll probably see later on the video with Ryan but also uh, if I go to, we've got a the other character models implemented now, along with a lot of the uh, like uh, base animations for them. So if I go to, it's probably already open on this Visual Studio, probably. Yeah, here we go. So if I go to, let's just a mini game to show you that we've seen before. So let's go to mini game eight, which is just the avoid one. Actually, there we go to mini game eighteen. Yeah, let's go here. So we can see we've got new character models in. I just lost immediately because I was paying attention. So new character models are in there. Um, I'll go ahead and show off uh, the other character models too. I know once we have the character selected we're going to do this from the menus but for now we just sort of got to do it as this. And also implemented is Dirk. We got a few other characters still in the works. Um, and uh, so these are the base animations for now, so we'll be switching them up later. Uh, for now, yeah, we've got the rest of the characters added in. They've done so far. And these will all be selected towards the character select menu when we uh, build that next uh, next week, probably. Alright, so yeah, we've got the new characters in, and let's go to a couple of the mini games we have. Let's go to. So that's why you my uh, menu is oriented. Uh, I believe this is, yes, this is a new one. Now, this one, I'm going to give it a couple of attempts because I'm awful at this and I'll probably not make it to the end. This one's also not fully finished because we only have the model for Evan in this one yet. But this kind of works like co-op where you have to try and control your limbs individually to make you walk across the stage. I, however, suck at this one so much just like actual co-op which I could not get myself anywhere with 
I just like dance on the spot, fall backwards. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I just don't understand how how quap works. I'm really good at pelting myself backwards, and then I can try to shuffle across the floor. But I'll never make it there in time if I do it this way. I will try and learn to be good at this one, so I can actually show you this properly next week. <laughs> Once I get some practice in, or I get someone else to record some gameplay for it, because yeah, I'm just hopeless. Uh, other than that, also got a few other ones in. So, got this one, which is on low gravity settings. Easy, you can do that. Um, once you get to high gravity, or you can jump less high, you won't have to make that jump there. So, then you have to make another way around by here, and possibly stop on here, or go straight to the end, depending again on how high the gravity is set. Um, so, essentially, it's kind of just like the jumping platform one, except it's about jumping out of a hole. You might do the camera adjustment on this one a little bit because there's quite a lot of uh, dead air right now. So we might go ahead and adjust the camera a little bit for this one. I'm not sure yet. The uh, problem is I want it to go quite high so you can see yourself jumping over the top without clipping off the top of the screen. So I'm going to maybe adjust that or leave it how it is if it looks fine. Uh, it turns below. And this one is an alteration of the catch one where we got catch and avoid, so now bombs also are getting dropped and you catch a bomb, it will game over you uh, it's just got to let the bombs drop past you and also not let any of the items slip past you either uh, you see the move speed is a bit faster than this one, I might also increase it for the other mini game. that's just because uh, it, you need to be a bit faster to get to the objects in this one because sometimes your path will be blocked by the falling bombs uh, I believe that's it for the new mini games currently implemented. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, most of the new stuff to show you. It's pretty much the menus and the mini games, and then also some uh, design aspects, which uh, I'll leave over to Ryan now. I'd like to talk through about all of the stuff that we've made slash designed. Uh, well, I've made slash designed this week. Um, also, past weeks I guess I'm going to show you the ships that we have the characters we currently have designed slash pixeled and then also the enemies so you've seen this one in the demo uh, we have our, our, our ship over here uh, each ship is going to be tied to a character so when you pick a character they will be obviously in their, in their ship so every mini game you play that involves a ship will have that specific ship for that character um, this is the second ship I've designed, uh, pretty simple, uh, kind of look like Batman ship, but, um, yeah, it's, it suits the character pretty well, which I'll show you what character later, but you've already seen this one. We've got a pink ship over here, uh, pretty like it, it's pretty, once again, pretty simple, didn't want to go to, uh, to extreme with the ships. And then finally, one I designed this week, which isn't actually finished yet. I've still got a ton of detail and stuff to add. But it's an egg ship. Why an egg ship, you may ask? Well, we have our Eggman over here, which is one of our characters. I say Eggman, but every character that we have is gender neutral. Um. We mainly wanted to do this because even though the characters do have masculine, feminine features, we don't really want them to be male or female. And we want to show that it doesn't matter what someone looks like, you shouldn't really assume their gender. Anyway, we have our egg person over here, which some people may get the reference if you're trans, that's why the trans flag is there. Um, we wanted a character that's a bit of a meme, to be honest. We wanted a jokey character, and 
yeah, this is the one I thought of to go with the whole gender neutral kind of social aspects of it, of the game. We obviously have Evan over here. Uh, we've already we've already met Evan in the demo. We have Dirk over here. Uh, they're a, just a just a space person. Uh, there's a whole lore to behind it, but I don't really want to explain all the lore yet. And then we have our siblings, um, Alex and Alex, or Alex and Alex. Um, once again, there's a whole lore to why they're in this universe together, but don't really want to uh, explain too much of it. And and uh, I'll let you people find out for yourselves. Moving on to enemies, we have a little blob person over here, which I thought was quite cute. We didn't want to go like, we wanted to go cute with the, I wanted to go cute with the enemies. We had this person, or this enemy over here, who looks a bit like a dinosaur with no arms. Um, once again, kind of cute. Got a cute walking animation, but I can't show that right now. And then we have our slime, generic slime, uh, because what's a game, what's a pixel game without a generic slime? Um, these are the only three enemies that we have so far. We um, probably will add more, but at the moment we've only got one or two mini games that we think are going to have these enemies involved, so we don't want to, we don't want to have too many, because it will waste, waste time, and we've got a We've got, you know, only me and Jane Pixel in, so uh, we want to try and use our time well and efficiently. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I've done this week. Uh, next week, I'm gonna continue with the characters because we have, we have got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five characters designed pixelated and I think most of the animations are done for them uh, we do want to have about eight at least six at least anyway I also plan to finish off the ships and do some more ships for the, for the design characters for the characters I'm gonna design if you'd like to support the game uh, you can head to patreon.com forward slash unbound interactive and we are giving out rewards and stuff for supporting us. All uh, money goes towards the development of the game, uh, software, etc. There's a whole video over there that explains everything that it goes towards. Also subscribe to keep up to date with the, uh, the devlogs we're making. On that note, goodbye.